Shanghai's sweltering heat, skiing with my friends. Shanghai's heat is getting unbearable, and all I'm doing these days is finding a way to get out of it, even in my dreams. Well, our guest today says, I don't need to travel far to enjoy all that. He will share with us snowboarding. It should keep us cool and fit at the same time. But wait, snowboarding here in Shanghai? Is that possible? Well, let's welcome Mateo Garcia to our studio today. Welcome, Mateo. Hey, thank you. Before we find out how snowboarding is possible here in Shanghai, let's take a look at Mateo's profile. My name is Mateo Garcia, and I'm from Colorado, USA. Been in Shanghai about uh, seven months now, and I sell snowboards and skateboards and surfboards. I've been working for IconX, and when I came down here to Shanghai, I started what has now become IconX's activities and events department. So we spread the love of our sports, um, skateboarding, snowboarding, and surfing, primarily by teaching other people to bring people into the sport, and that's what I do. Here we are at um, Inchi Xing, Shanghai's only indoor ski slope. I come here two or three weekends every month, almost every weekend. And we're here today for our uh, Icon X summer snowboard clinics where we uh, take snowboarders here, a lot of first timers, and just teach them the basics. Hey, oh, it's so cold. We have another customer, Janice. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, cool. We should meet at the second slope. Oh, okay. A little icy today. Could you, man? How's it going, man? Yeah. <laughs> Rick, can you stop? No. You can stop. Use your use your shoulders to swing your legs around like. Like going in Jendan. Jung Sin Zai Chen. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Oh, do it. Hey, in Jendan. There you go, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's all, that's all you gotta do. You can do that. There you go, there you go. Perfect, perfect. And just I'm going to play snowboard. I play snowboard. I play snowboard. I play snowboard. Try it again, man. Just go straight and boom. Get that back around. Keep, keep it over. Keep it over. If it wasn't for the guy in the way, it would have been perfect. Oh, switch, switch, hey, hey, careful, careful. Um, that's probably the hardest thing about learning <laughs> snowboarding is that when you learn, you're going to take falls. I think learning snowboarding is even a little bit harder than learning skiing because it's uh, unnatural to have both of your feet kind of strapped in and unable to move uh, independently. So for coaching beginners, um, we really try and uh, be very hands-on uh, help them not to fall or not to fall so hard, be right there standing next to them so that they know if they fall, we're gonna be right there, they're not gonna get hurt. And just kind of give them motivation. Like, ja yo, ja yo. Okay. My daily routine here is, um, I guess it's probably a bit different than most anybody working in the city. I, uh, I wake up and skateboard to the office. I thought it was the fastest way to get to the office because of all the traffic. Usually from 9 to 12, I'm in the office 
working on uh, basically promoting all our events and promoting our stores. A lot of that just involves communicating with people to get the word out. I spend uh, a lot of my time in the mornings just sending out, answering emails. Hey, Gary. Yo, Kong, ma. Go like that. Hey, I think we can change this dude. Icon X indoor ski slope. Can you say Icon X mm. snowboard clinics? And this green color, we'll change it to green or green. Mm. Yeah. This green color, we can use it in the sunlight. And this is the green color, so we can use it in the sunlight. Oh, Usually in the afternoons, I try and be at the shops um, here, you know, more on the ground, like so I can meet the kind of people who want to buy snowboards or skateboards. So I'll then spend, you know, second half of the day in the shop just talking to customers, uh, trying to sell snowboards or skateboards or. Snowboard equipment. Yeah, hello, Matt. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm good. Good. You have fun on Sunday? Yeah. At Inchishing? Yeah. Yeah. Today I First want time to on a buy snowboard. a snowboard for myself. Yeah, yeah. This board I had been telling you about, it's an all mountain board. Yeah. It's um, perfect, just about your size. All mountain boards are really the best things for uh, beginners because when you're starting out, you really don't know exactly what kind of riding you're going to be doing. You don't know what you're going to like yet. So now this board, actually, it's um, it's a good price, too. Yeah. I mean, for buying your first board, it's 2,600 quai. I think Shanghai, um, as far as China goes, is really on kind of the leading edge in terms of, like, fashion and new ideas. You know, people here are willing to try new things. Um, they want to be cool. I mean, they want to be part of what's happening. Uh, Fashion-wise, um, trend-wise, everything. So, snowboarding is, you know, kind of a natural fit for Shanghai. Try it out. Step in. See how it would look. When you use these, all you got to do is slide it right in. Yeah, perfect. Really easy to use. Yeah, it's very easy. When I first came to China, I had no knowledge of the language. I couldn't speak one word of Chinese. Now here in Shanghai, I'm taking classes at a kind of small uh, little hole in the wall Chinese school. I'm enjoying the study of the language. It's uh, by far the hardest language I've ever tried to learn. I've lived in a lot of different countries and traveled around a lot. If you're gonna be in a country, you've got to learn to speak the language, especially um, if you're trying to do business. Oh, not only, but also. Uh, Shanghai has got tons of places to skateboard. It's one of the best places in the world right now for skateboarding. Shanghai has tons of just marble ledges and stairs and all sorts of things that are great for skateboarding. And unlike the U.S., the police don't take you out. The police are, uh, they don't care at all. All right, this is Zhongshan Park. Uh, not too far from my house, so I like to come here a lot on the weekends when I have time and uh, just relax, skate with my friends. Yeah, you can see a lot of these guys are uh, some pretty good skateboarders. Shanghai's got some great skateboarders, um, and they can do a lot of tricks, just lots of cool stuff. Like, Ollie is um, where you make the board kind of jump in the air and stick to your feet. And um, kick flips, heel flips, where you jump and the board flips under you. Um, takes years and years to learn, but uh, it's a lot of fun, I guess. You can do a lot of cool tricks, like uh, manuals and 
Just keep the board going. Keep your balance. <laughs> Rolling around. And there's certainly huge growth in the board sports industry here that doesn't exist in the U.S. Um, these sports, like snowboarding especially, are on the decline right now in the U.S. and they're blowing up here now. So this is where I wanted to be, uh, the industry I wanted to be in. And somehow that's um, just by crazy luck, uh, it's sort of come true. I miss snowboarding in Colorado uh, just because we've got some of the best parks and mountains in the world. I, I had missed that just after being in China for a couple of months and I realized I'm not going to be able to survive without snowboarding. I'm going to need to find the mountains here. I mean, when I'm snowboarding is probably the only time that I really feel um, no stress and a perfectly clear head. It's just uh, the most relaxing thing ever. Uh, to be going down a mountain, especially when there's not a lot of people around, going kind of surfing on the snow, it's just uh, it's almost an indescribable feeling. It's a feeling that you've got to have yourself to really, uh, to really understand. So uh, it's by far the best feeling in the world, though. Uh, actually, I thought the bandit was a fashion statement as well, but now I see actually a small scar. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. quite well. Yeah, I got a couple of stitches there.